Hi everybody, it's Amy from Bargain Beauty and I'm at Dollar Tree here to pick up my fairy garden. I have shown these little cute flower lamps in a previous video, but I wanted to show you that my store actually got them in. So yeah, I'm here waiting for my box to come up front, so I thought I'd look around while I wait. Now I normally don't like white chocolate, but if it's mixed with peanut butter, that I like. Does anybody else like white chocolate? Bunny money. You know I gotta play with this because I'm just a big kid. So fun. Thank you if this is the first video you're clicking on on my channel. I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks to everyone who always sticks around and loves to go hang out with me at the Dollar Tree. You know I love you guys. Now in a previous video, actually two videos, I've gone through this whole section already. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time over here. Like I said, I'm just waiting for my box. So we're just going to browse. If I see anything new, then we'll talk about it. You guys know if you've been on my channel, I always get one of these every single holiday to put on my front door. I love the sound it makes when the door opens. This is the sign I have on my door right now. I love it. I think I got the same one last year. <laughs> oh, all that glitter. I wouldn't want to have to clean that up. That is not fun times. You know, I've been seeing a lot of people haul. Let me see if I can find them. Here we go. These lilac silk flowers or artificial flowers, fake flowers, whatever you guys call them. And they look pretty realistic. I mean, for, for Dollar Tree, like see how the details like a little more extra than normal. So I love the white ones. I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys. Look how pretty the white ones are. And of course they get them. But if I would have got them at the other store that was a half an hour away, you know my store would have been sold out or they would have never got them. So I'm still happy I went and got the little traniums at the other store. Hummingbird feeders. I always use my hummingbird feeders and I just make the sugar and water at home and we get so many. It's so awesome. Just a bunch of garden stuff. Look how cute the little display is. I love how they're making everything this year round and fluffy. The frogs, the bunnies, everything. See, they don't have, they have a few things, but they don't have the houses. So, I'm glad I got that box. A little stepping stone look for your garden. turn around and see what else they got going on here I always used to get these with the cups because I love the cups you don't have to use your cups they're reusable love that so I would just get new ones of these every couple of years and then just get like whatever was in for dying eggs sometimes it was marbleized sometimes it was stickers sometimes it was right on with crayons you know how it goes but I love those cups made it so easy See the little round bunny? I don't buy a lot of chocolate from Dollar Tree. And you guys told me, I said one time it tasted funny. And you guys were like, yeah, because it's from another country, silly girl. Look at these boxes. They're open. Probably just the blue in the box, but still, dang. It's not good. Cotton candy. My daughter loves it. Now, my daughter loves Milky Way. I don't, so I haven't tried these, but I don't want to get them unless somebody tells me those are good. And then we have the gummy bunnies. These are really pretty. May his light shine upon you. Very pretty. So, guys, I have to take a phone call, and I'm back. I love these trays, like especially if you're going to bring something to someone's house on Easter. It's a two-pack for a buck, which isn't too bad, right? 
I love the colors, but they're so flimsy. I always used to get my daughter a different cup for each holiday. So fun. Look, little round chickies. Everything's round this year. I love it. No body shaming here on this channel. Little round bunnies. Some buckets. Oh, wow, I haven't seen rubber duckies in a while. Oh, bath duckies. I haven't seen those since, like, Christmas. Before that, even. It's cool. Oh, Easter games. It's fun to include that stuff in their baskets. So they don't get super bored on Easter waiting from the Easter egg hunt to dinner. They have something fun to do. Peanut M&M's, one of my favorites. That's right, I love me some M&M's. Look at how cute little butterfly boxes. So nice and organized. Don't see a ton of stuff. It's new today. It doesn't surprise me though. They just had inventory last week. And she told me when I came in, they have like a huge truck coming in. Okay, so I want to tell you guys, never get defeated. These things have been, the microwave egg cookers have been on YouTube for like a year now or probably longer. And everyone gets them at different times. My store first time ever getting them you crack them you cook and you enjoy it says so you can microwave your eggs but yeah see this is the thing about Dollar Tree don't get discouraged when you can't find stuff because and I have to remind myself too sometimes because you never know when it's gonna show up in your store I never thought we'd get those so I'm just over in the candle aisle this smells really good I probably have like five-year supply of candles right now. I don't need any. Not a zip, zero, zilch. And warmers. And tarts. I love these jars. I light them in my living room at night. Speaking of, I need these for my little geraniums. That's what I call them, geranium. I don't know what they're called, but I need these. I need six of them because I bought six. I'm just going to leave them with just a little tea light in them and hang them at different lengths in front of the windows that I have in the front of the house. I don't want to put like a bunch of succulents and stuff in them. I love those. Love those. Oh, let me let him go by. Okay. Pretty much the standard stuff that they've had for a little bit here. But yeah, she said there's a huge coming truck coming in Saturday. So I'm going to give them to like Tuesday or Wednesday. Because I know it takes time to get stuff out. And I'll come back. Hopefully we'll see some new stuff. I love the design on this little box. I know I just don't need it. Been getting rid of so much stuff guys so much stuff donating so much to that buy nothing group it feels good to purge i'm very blessed i have a lot of things and i feel good just getting some stuff out i feel like it's wasteful if it's just sitting in cupboards you know what i mean i love these butterflies they're so pretty I bought this rope last year. I mean, they always have it, but I bought it last year. I used it to like 
like on everything really I made this last year just like the picture that's in my bathroom guys I'm getting a new bathroom like a whole new bathroom in my townhouse so that's gonna be really cool I love these I put my wildflowers in them from my Dollar Tree garden last year but yeah I'm excited they're tearing it down to the studs and making a new one. Oh, that's a pretty cover. So pretty. Looking for the price, but I don't see it. I don't need I have like a hundred magazines that I have to read that I got for free that I need to catch up on. These are so pretty. I love them. Very nice. I just think they're so pretty. I would buy my daughter all this stuff, and she just doesn't. She's a minimalist. She doesn't like a lot of stuff. She doesn't like a lot of clutter. She doesn't like a lot of. She doesn't like any of the stuff. She's very minimal. Cause like I want to get her one of each of these, but I know she'll never use them. Hmm. Now, have they always had this, the electronics duster? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. What is this? What size is this? Two ounces. They probably have. I probably just didn't notice. I've always had those. Audio splitter. Huh. I miss being able to use these. I got a um, Samsung Note 8. And these don't fit. But these really work, guys, to protect your phone. All the dog food's gone from the recall. Bye bye dog food. I'm curious to see if they're going to replace it with something else. Isn't this rope pretty? I'm such a girl. It's rope, but I think it's so pretty. Look how vibrant the colors are. It's probably super cheap rope, but I think it's pretty. For the bathroom and the sink. Command hooks. I love that you can buy them here for a dollar. It's the best. I have so many from here. I'm going to use those to hang those terrarium things. Probably said that word five different times, different ways. It's all good. See anything new? Oh, washi that looks old though. This is why I miss doing lives because you guys can talk back with me. But the connection doesn't come in really great in this store either. Anyway, not either. Anyway, I love these. Well, I love this one. It's old school. It, it's not new, but I love the design and the pattern of this. Take a quick peek over here. She hasn't come up with my box yet, so we got a minute. You know, I had this one nail file, type of nail file that I used to love when I owned my hair salons. 
and I used to get it at Sally's. Cosmo Pro were professionals only go, they never carried it, but Sally's did, and they don't carry it anymore. And I can't find a good nail file. Then Big Lots, Walmart, Target. I'm looking for a certain grit, a certain type, a certain thickness. I'm struggling. It's like the perfect nail file. I'm so bummed that Sally's doesn't carry it anymore. This is such a pretty color. Love. Oh my gosh, in my early 20s, all I wore was pink eyeshadow, pink blush, pink lip gloss with my big permed hair and my Aquanet. LA Colors. And I was a size zero and I thought it was fat. Right? Don't you wish, like, when you... <laughs> do you ever do that as an older adult? You were like, if I only, when I was, you know, when I thought I was fat, when I was so thin... If only I could be that size again, basically, is what I'm saying. Elf. I love my elf brushes. I don't need a Morphe brush. I'm not that girl that wastes money like that. So, Sassy and Chic, they have one little tiny little nail box. Oh, a lot of you got... Oh, everything's... Oh, a lot of you asked me, this is the nail glue I use. I've said it in a couple videos, but people still ask. So that's the nail glue I use. It lasts about six, seven days. But what's nice is it pops off. It doesn't tear off. I have never lost a nail with it either. It's just I can tell it's time to take them off. So I'll pop them off on the seventh day usually. I have a um, friend, a guy, that uses this on his hands, and he loves it. And this stuff is a little bit more expensive, Target and Walmart. And when I looked for it at Target and Walmart. So to see it here at the Dollar Tree is pretty cool for a buck. used to wear these all the time if you ever wore these or if you currently wear them oh my gosh I would have been dying over the pink ones these look a lot thinner than the ones we used to have remember the ones we used to wear were really thick and they would snap and you'd like your eye would go back I do want a couple packages of these headbands because I don't always have them and for just like around the house or if I'm outside I want my hair off my face They don't hurt my head. They don't give me a headache. Because they're cheapo, so they're not tight. Yeah, they haven't stopped. Definitely because of inventory. These are old. They're cute. I filmed an Aldi video today, too. If you guys haven't checked that out, make sure to go and check that out. It'll probably go up before this video go up. I got some goodies. Such a good deal for a buck. And it, I like this one better than the name brand where you can get at the store. I'm going to get a couple cans of these because I like these. These are the best olives, guys. And I love olives in like salad and I love these. There's no oily residue. They're, they're just yummy. They're really good. The bells. I'm definitely going to show you guys what came in the fairy garden set. So Hopefully you guys are sticking around because at the end of the video here, um, after this, I'm going to show you guys what came in the box. Now this beef broth, I want the other brand back. We have an ongoing issue with beef broth on this channel. <laughs> Where did the old one go? 
I don't want this one. Guys, I love beef broth in the crock pot with my meats. Or just in like a cup with like scallions in it. Like you get in the Japanese restaurant. Yum. All right, guys, so it's later on in the day and I'm back at the house. I did open the box and I'm so excited to get everything all at once. Now, I know that all of these items will be available in the store, but as you saw in my video earlier, I do not have a ton of them available to me at this time. And this made it so much less stressful to be able to just get them all at once. Now, after this portion of the video, I actually did a video for my second channel and normally I delete that stuff immediately because I need space on my phone, but I'm going to include the video I made for my little fairy garden. I didn't have any of these items at the time, but I did a little indoor fairy garden and I will share that footage with you after this. I did delete my second channel. I'm going to just stay on this main channel and really focus on doing longer videos and going to different stores and trying to mix it up here and just really focusing on getting this first channel like I want to spend more time on thumbnails and just kind of all that fun stuff so this is what came in the box I got a lot of these little figurines so we got the little gnomes the figurines are readily available I've noticed in the Dollar Trees I've been going to the little fairies um, but the actual houses I'm having trouble finding little um, water fountain water fountain the little watering picture and little bird bath little birdhouse, little lamp post, and then these just adorable little houses. So cool, look at them. Little mushroom house. I think it's kind of cool to see them up close like this because you see so much more of the detail. The little windmill, little welcome sign, little outhouse. Isn't this so fun? And the little bridge. And then we have the little table and chairs and just one more package, which again, these are and have been available in the store. This little three piece figurines that I've seen so many times and I actually got one um, prior to this video. So yeah, guys. All right. Stay tuned for the video I had put on my second channel of my little fairy garden. All right. Bye bye. Hi everybody, it's Amy from Bargain Beauty, and I'm not really good at filming these types of videos, so bear with me. And this is my first attempt at making any type of fairy garden. So last year I got a few fairy garden items, and the landscaper kind of blew them in, up into the woods near where I live. I was able to save this little bridge and this little girl back here. So I decided to incorporate them inside, inside this little, it's not little, it's actually... A nice size cylinder vase so I had this back from like 15 years ago I've had this for a long time I've had candles in it I put my beta fish in I mean I've used it for so many different things and then this log with the plant I actually got from Petco I got a bunch of them they were in the dumpster from dumpster diving and it looks like a pretty cool log so this year I got the little mushroom well, I'll actually have to show you when I go around. Like I said, I'm not really good at filming this stuff. The rocks I got from Dollar Tree last year, they were just sitting in a bag under the sink. The moss I got this year to do my little bunny, I made like little bunny Easter things that I showed on my Instagram and my Facebook. The little flower was part of the set from this year. So let me kind of, well, let's start over here. Okay. So this would be like the back of it. And I put the little, <laughs> I put the little snail um, back here because I figured snails like it dark and wet and moist. And nobody likes that word, I know. But I thought like that's where they would hang out, right? They'd hang out like, I don't know, in the back in the dark. They'd love it. Look, it looks so happy there. And then I just layered some of the moss on. I put the bridge like this so that the fairies can get over the bridge up into the back where they live. Well, right now she lives by herself. But if her friends wanted to come visit her, they would go up over the bridge and go 
in the back. Now I put this little, I glued the little flower there. I put the little owl here, I glued him in there. Because owls like to go in trees, but that's the closest thing we have to a tree in here. And then I just put her, I don't know if you can see her. Here's an aerial view. Oh no, <laughs> I'm really wrecking this, aren't I? Uh, maybe this isn't the best way to show you. Oh, look at the little owl. This is kind of cool. I didn't really understand this whole trend a couple years ago when I started YouTube. But this was kind of really a lot of fun. Let me take a little picture with a thumbnail. But yeah, so then I just put her back here. She's chilling. Now, those of you who are really, really good at this, please be kind because I have seen the most amazing fairy gardens and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Oh, I did put the little mushrooms down here because I figured that's where they would grow. Right? So I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I just wanted to use what I had and just spent a couple bucks at the Dollar Tree. So I think it's okay for my first one. I'm going to try and do a bigger one out in my backyard and include the water fountain that I found in dumpster diving with it. So that's going to be a project. I think I'm going to take that on this summer. So, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I don't know, it was just something fun and silly to do on a Saturday. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, I know I ended the video and I'm so sorry, but I forgot to tell you that I did put essential oils inside. I put it on the actual little like fake log and I put it inside the fake moss and it smells amazing, guys. It smells so good. So not only is it gonna look pretty, but it's also gonna smell nice. So yeah, I got the oil at Walmart. I think they're a little less than $5 and I just put the lemon one in there. It's one of my favorites. So I forgot to tell you and I just wanted to let you guys know if you haven't already thought of it to definitely put a little essential oil in there if you're gonna keep it in the house. It'll make it smell yummy. All right, guys.